So you're thinking about moving to Fairfax, Virginia, but you'd kind of like to know the pros and the cons about living in Fairfax before you decide to make that big move. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. We're gonna be talking about the good and the bad, the pros and the cons of living in Fairfax, Virginia. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to stay tuned because we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time at the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you never miss a video. My name is Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, send us a message on social, whatever works for you, we've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. So as I mentioned today, we're going to be covering the pros and the cons of living in Fairfax, Virginia. And let's start out with the first con, which is high cost of living. Fairfax is no exception to the trend in Northern Virginia. It is an expensive place to live, and overall, it runs about 23% higher than the national cost of living. Housing is really where it's much higher than what you'll find in other areas of the United States. It's going to run you 123% more to live in Fairfax when it comes to finding housing. And groceries are also going to run you 14% more than the national average. Transportation is also going to cost a little bit more, coming in at 27% higher than the national average. Next up is traffic. There is a lot of traffic in Fairfax. You have 66, you have 123, you have Nutley Street, you have Lee Highway, you have Route 50. All of those arteries back up during peak commute time. And even on the weekends, you will find that there's going to be traffic. It's just a way of life in Northern Virginia. And during the week, you can certainly plan your travel around peak commute times. You still might hit some construction traffic because that's always going on here as well. But if you are commuting during peak times from Fairfax, Virginia, say into Washington, DC, you're going to find that it takes you on an average day about an hour. So just keep that in mind. If you're comfortable with a longer commute, well, that might not be a con to you, but for many, they want a shorter commute. So it is something to keep in mind no matter where you're considering living in Northern Virginia. Con number three is going to be that there is no metro station in Fairfax. Now, there are two metro stations that are close by. You have both Vienna and the Dunloring stations. But if you are looking to have to live in a city where there is a metro station that maybe you can walk to or take a bus to, just a couple minute ride, Fairfax probably is not going to be your best bet. The other thing to keep in mind though is that there is a fantastic bus system and there are plenty of bus stops within Fairfax. So if you're comfortable taking, I would say anywhere from a 10 to a 30 minute bus ride to the Metro station, just depending on where in Fairfax you land, that is absolutely an option and something that people do every single day. The public transit system is fully functional and definitely not sparse in Fairfax. It's just that if you want to be somewhere that there is a metro station in that actual city, well, Fairfax doesn't check that box. And that actually leads us to the next con for Fairfax is when you're living in Fairfax, you are very likely going to need a car. I'm not going to say it's impossible to live in Fairfax without a car, just depending on your lifestyle and where you need to go but it is common for people who are relocating to the Northern Virginia area to think, hey, Fairfax is a massive suburb of DC. I'm not gonna need a car. And that just isn't the case. There are sidewalks in almost all of the neighborhoods, so you won't have a problem there. 
but there aren't sidewalks where you might be wanting to walk to say a shopping center or if you want to go grab dinner. It really depends on where you are and sidewalks can be kind of sparse in Fairfax outside of the actual neighborhoods, which makes it tricky to sort of um, live your day-to-day -day life without having a car. Now let's dive into the pros of living in Fairfax, Virginia which far outweigh the cons. It is a highly sought after place to live. And first up is diversity. If you are looking to live in an area that has a lot of diversity, Fairfax absolutely checks that box. Bestneighborhood.org gave it a diversity ranking of 98 out of 100. And Fairfax is one of the most diverse places in all of the state of Virginia. If that's something that's important to you, you definitely will not be disappointed in the Fairfax area. And it really shines through, not just in getting to know different cultures within your neighborhood, but you will also see it reflected, especially in the dining options in Fairfax. And we'll get into that a little bit later in the pros list, but you will absolutely find any type of food you could possibly think of. The diversity is really showcased in the food scene as well. Pro number two when it comes to living in Fairfax, Virginia is low crime. Crimegrade.com gave Fairfax an A plus rating for overall crime and crime in general in Fairfax is 70% less than other areas of all of the United States. And for violent crimes, it's actually 77% less than other areas in the United States. So overall considered a very safe place to live. I'll always give the disclaimer that every area has places that has higher crime than the overall. So always do your research, check in with local police reports. You can even give them a call. But in general, Fairfax is considered a low crime area to live in. Next up for pros when you're living in Fairfax, Virginia is highly ranked schools. Fairfax County in general has a very well known and highly ranked school system. But Fairfax even stands out beyond that within the county. It's home to three of the top 25 schools in all of Fairfax County. Mosby Woods Elementary, Frost Middle School, and Woodson High School are all in the top 25 within the county and highly sought after. We have frequently had clients who have specifically wanted a home within the pyramid that feeds into Woodson High School. It's known for its high educational experience and it really is extremely sought after. I'll always give the disclaimer that, you know, every county has lower ranked schools which feed into certain neighborhoods. So you always wanna do your research on this, very similar to crime rates. Greatschools.org is a resource that I know parents typically really enjoy and find useful. So be sure to check that out and you can always get more information on what property, um, what schools tie into a certain property. When you're working with an agent, they'll be able to provide you with that information so that you can do a little bit more research and make sure it's the right fit for your kids. Pro number four when living in Fairfax is the access to shopping and to dining. I touched on this a little earlier in the video. There is no shortage of dining options in Fairfax and anything you could think of, you can find it. You will also never be far from daily needs like the grocery store, or the dry cleaners, or pharmacy. Um, they're all very close by no matter where you live in Fairfax. And you also have Fair Oaks Mall, you have the Mosaic District, and you have Fairfax Corner, all of which offer shopping and dining within one place. Um, Mosaic is a more upscale experience and known for their boutique stores. Fairfax Corner, you can always go catch a movie and then grab a meal either before or after. It's kind of a one-stop shop for shopping, dining, and entertainment and Fair Oaks Mall is really just a hop, skip, and a jump from Fairfax Corner. If you're really looking to wander around the mall and get some retail therapy in, Fairfax checks all the boxes. This is by no means all-inclusive for life in Fairfax, Virginia. It has so much to offer and it is a really popular place to live for good reason. You've got shopping, dining, parks, great schools, low crime, access to public transportation if you want to take metro into the city 
You're also not too far from uh, Dulles Airport and Reagan Airport. Fairfax really does have a lot to offer. If you're interested in learning more, drop us a comment below. We'll be happy to have a conversation. And as always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, whatever works for you. We've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. Until next time, we hope to show you around town.